Welcome back to Sunless Skies. Before I begin, I want to talk about time. Back around the beginning of the game, we took someone on board whose job it was to make sure time is consistent between different places, given that time is a bit weird in this universe, especially since it's a literal commodity that you can hold in your hands. And when we were talking with them, they mentioned, just kind of offhand, they didn't go into any detail, they mentioned that Time is used to solve prison overpopulation, which sounded horrible. That sounds bad. That sounds very abusive to the prisoners. There were a bunch of comments, though, talking about what time might be used for to stop prison overpopulation, like exactly how it might be used. And I thought there were some interesting ideas. So one person said, um, maybe literally the person in a time forward or back or parallel when no one occupies it. So maybe using time to displace when someone is there. Time is infinite, right? So there's no harm in making somebody be in the prison in the future or the past or something, right? I'm not sure how that would work in terms of... Like, if you make somebody go into the future, I mean, you, you still need to, like, feed them and provide them care. Maybe they verify that the prison still exists and is running in the future? at a time when there's less prisoners occupying it? I don't know, there's a lot of little details that I would like to know. But that's one possible explanation. Um, another one is that they use those hours to reduce the real time a convict stays behind bars while metering out the sentenced punishment in personal time. So, kind of the idea that the time that the convict feels, it might feel like normal time passing, but somehow to the people outside, for them, maybe it goes super fast. Again, how does that work with, like, feeding the prisoners? I mean, they need people to take care of them. I have no idea, but that's another possible explanation. And another one that I kind of like the, the most is, uh, what if you're sentenced to 10 years? It could literally mean that you have to give away 10 years of your life and might go free the very next day, or spend two years in prison and give away eight, something like that. Maybe the years go to the victim. Can you take years away from somebody? We know Years are a commodity, and time is a commodity. I mean, heck, I've got a bunch of unseasoned hours in my bank right now, <laughs> ready for delivery. So maybe it's not just a commodity that you can spend, and we know you can mine it, but maybe you can also extract it from people. And I like the idea of the years going to the victims as a, a sort of atonement for what they've done. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of really interesting possible explanations for how time might be used. It's really complex, and I wonder if they're going to go into it more later in the game. Right. Well, I'm done with my business at New Winchester as far as turning in port reports and repairing my hole and all that stuff. There's a lot of things I want to deliver. We just found Port Prosper. I want to go back there and do some stuff. But for now, I just invested a lot of money at Port Prosper on their one export, which is the barrels of unseasoned hours. I've got nine of those. Five or four of which need to go to the circus, and then the other of them need to go to the nature reserve. I want to deliver them so I can make my return on this pretty big investment. Because I've only got 674 coin at the moment, which is not that much. So, just like I traveled from Port Prosper to here on very low fuel and supplies to make room for all the hours, I'm going to do the same thing. Got all of them, going with just a little bit of fuel and supplies, going to go over to the circus, drop off the hours, and resupply and then head to the nature reserve. Oh, it looks like now that we've helped them out at the circus, since we gave those repair tools to the magician, we're part of the family, because now I don't have to pay for tickets. Of course, you don't have to pay, you're part of the family. Well, might as well get more tickets every time I come here. I wonder what happens if I attend more performances. Anyway, uh, just got to did a port report. Let's look at the new arrivals at the circus. If I remember right, that reduces my terror. Listen to their stories. Yeah, went down by 10%. We've already read this. Let's turn in the barrels of unseasoned hours. God, I feel so rich. Got a vision of the heavens and 150 experience. A gentleman must prepare for his retirement, the ringmaster says. 
I intend mine to be long and indolent. You join him at the fire to drink cups of chorister nectar and watch the stars wheel. A homestead? The incognito princess is delighted. Oh my god, scouts, please leave, you're so loud. I had a doll's house this size. Much prettier, of course. You sit down beside a humble homestead whose owners, despite their ragged sleeves, insist on inviting you in. Trades long suit gossip for supplies. No thanks. Let's eat your fill. Reduced error. Yes, down to 12%. I haven't had my terror this low in so long. Your host says grace over the simple meal before you begin. The bread is mealy, but spiced with what tastes like cloves. The broth is filling. The fire is warm. You indulge yourselves and remove your boots. So, currently heading over to the nature reserve. I'm really low on fuel. I was going to buy fuel at the circus, but they actually don't sell it. I've forgotten on every port sells every type of supply. This one just sells supplies. Most seem to sell both, though. Like, this sells both fuel and supplies. This one sells both. That one's also both. So, circus seems to be an odd exception. No, this one's also just supplies. So, heading over here. I think I'll have enough fuel, though. I think it'll be fine. Almost to reserve. Got a down ship, King of Emeralds, and a bunch of bees. Mourn the dead, enter through the yawning tear in the hole. Let's enter. 90% chance of success. Partial success. You lead the boarding party into the groaning hole. You'll need to be quick. It sounds like it could tear itself apart at any moment. Insulated in your sky suit, lamp held high, you lead them towards. Okay, galley for supplies, magazine for munitions, captain's quarters might be odd specimen, probably. Crew quarters is just for money, I think. Oh, we can scavenge fuel at the engine room. Heck yeah, let's do that. Two fuel. Oh, we lost crew. The engine is cold and clogged with ash, but you find untapped barrels of coal and carry them back to your locomotive. No sooner are you back aboard than the wreck breaks apart, spilling its remaining contents into the sky. It's only then that a headcount reveals your one short. Sorry, crew. Oh, we did gain 10 terror as well. Okay. Come on, peacock winds, suck us in. It's gonna make this very fast and exciting. Don't normally get to go this fast, I love it. Now I'm not terrified of the peacock winds, because I know exactly where this goes, but the first time I went through here, whew. That was sucking me into some void. Oh. Stuff. Actually, there's no point in going there. I don't have any hold space. A hunting party? Um, may maybe a little later. Let's sell my stuff. I got five of these barrels of unseasoned hours to sell for the petting prospect. That's going to be a lot of money. 1800 You don't have enough money to buy a better locomotive. Every locomotive supports different equipment configurations. They also vary in the amount of cargo or crew they can carry, and handle a little differently. The cheapest one that I can buy is 1500 I would want more left over, more money left over than that. I need, I absolutely need a certain amount of funds just to be able to buy deals and do prospects. Oh, they gave me an otherworldly artifact. A superior researcher has the barrels carried into a timbered laboratory. She hands over your pay. This is for your service, she says, and this is for your silence. She deposits a serpentine plant in a clay pot in your hands. It purrs gently. Aw, I got a purring plant. I love it. Oh wow, this is another weird one. This is another one where you can buy the thing that they needed for the prospect right here. Oh, I actually already bought three jumbles of undistinguished souls from the circus because they were a deal. I don't think I want to buy these, though. I think what I want to buy is seeds because I need those for titania. Yeah, flowers for titania. They need five. And titania is just right over here. And I also need to drop that passenger off at titania that I picked up at Port Prosper. So I think I'll do that. 
Well, let's do some story stuff before I do anything else. Need to get a port report. Oh, right, we need to put up a flyer for the strong woman. Tourists from across the Empire come here. Perhaps you can encourage them to divert to the circus on their route home. Parents and children enter fierce debate about the limits of human strength. Dear heart, no one can lift an asteroid. But she's the strongest. She could lift anything. I think that was the last one I needed to put up, so I guess I should go back to the circus at some point. Alright, let's join a hunting party, I guess. An opportunistic ranger smiles a mostly toothless grin and shows off his many scars from the beasts of the nature reserve. All fair in love and war. Do I want to join, really? 26% chance of success, my iron's not very good. No, let's just explore it on my own. It'll reduce terror, apparently. You prefer your adventures more scenic and less liable to result in the loss of limbs. Down to 18. Along with a few of your brave crew members, you set out into the depths of the nature reserve for a bracing walk and a quiet picnic. The fauna around here is shy when not being hunted. It doesn't even try to steal your scones. <laughs> Do we still have those scones left over from Port Avon? God, never gonna finish those. But they've turned into bricks at this point. If they're not moldy, then they must be just completely dry. Is there any point in talking with the fellow captains? We did that a long time ago. No, nothing new. I don't think we have any new research stuff to turn in, do we? This might be new. Yeah, ask the phlegmatic researcher about his completed research. He left a note at the dock asking you to drop by. The researcher welcomes you to his table with a booming, Sit down, sit down! He calls for one of his scouts to pour you a brandy. Thanks for the hard labor of my fine colleagues, we've done it! Let's witness the culmination of their efforts. It's just outside the window. Phlegmatic researcher points with his walking stick and raises his eyebrows theatrically. An orchard is growing outside. The trees all bear, uh, well, one cannot say fruit, for they bear potatoes or carrots, while others have ears of corn hang like pine cones. The phlegmatic researcher raises his glass. I call them sapling knots. With careful discipline, it's possible to harness the reach's chaos in abundance. After that, one may dictate growth. Wood may be negotiated with. So they managed to make just whatever, pretty much whatever they want grow from the trees. Potatoes, carrots, corn. Amazing. Experiments sanctioned by the company. The research continues. I converted in seeds and 300 experience. Oh, this is... I don't think I've done this before. Ask about the romantic ornithologist's bird. Right, remember? That uh, person with the really long beard... Who I think was my guide in the nature reserve, and they're looking for some mystical bird who's said to be slowly pecking at the mountain of eternity or something like that. A bird that can grind a mountain down to dust. The scientists waste no time on manners. Surely its beak would wear down faster. Unless it is some kind of magic beak made of something harder than diamond. Is it a magic beak, Captain? A magic harder than diamond beak? It quickly becomes clear why the romantic ornithologist works alone. Okay. Stomach of a cantankery, a fungal crinoline, a clipping of the titanian flower. Oh, these are totally different. Research things than were here before. Maybe once you complete one, then it kind of like... switches over. Maybe you can just assume that other people, like NPCs, did the other bits of research. And so you got a whole bunch of new ones. Okay. What do I want to go for? I guess the easiest thing. Fungal meteoroids have been observed with Leadbetter and Stainrod telescopes. What? Were we able to take a sample, we may learn the origin of the celestial voyagers. That sounds fascinating, sure. Oh, it's not actually a quest you take, so you can just do any one of these. Okay. 
Definitely doesn't sound like the easiest one, though. A fungal meteoroid. I have no idea where to look for that. A clipping of the titanium flower. Oh, that should be easy. I'm going there right after this. Right, right after this. That was a weird way of saying it. Yeah, let's do that. What is the purpose behind its gargantuan size? Is it a unique species or merely an unusually large variety of the common orchid? Let's go into the reserve. Let's go visit the ornithologist. Welcome, T. Now, we've already spoken to them about the bird and everything else as well. Don't think there's any way for us to help them at the moment. Let's take a quick trip into the reserve. The romantic ornithologist clasps his hands with quiet delight when he sees you. I found a most wonderful place. Shall we? I don't know if I've read this before. I know we've done this before, but this might be new. You delve into the reserve together. The birds sing around you. The flowers offer sweet perfumes. A pleasing breeze tumbles through a glade and whistles around a mountain bend. Two more sky stories. Right, I think that's it for here. So now the question is, what do I want to buy? Well, I've got just enough seeds to do the prospect at Titania. I think I'm just going to go against the peacock wind and go to Titania. It's going to raise my terror a bit, but I'm at 18%. I'll be fine. A buzzing sound in the air. The repentant... Uh, whoop. Okay, we'll read that later. Uh, medical emergency. The settler from Port Prosper staggers onto the bridge, clutching his throat. He appears to be in some distress. Indeed, hair sprouts like invasive weed from every follicle in his body, forcing its way out. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, it doesn't explicitly say that they died, but... Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> Shit. So either return his remains to Port Prosper, keep the body for study, or throw him out, throw him off the locomotive. Hmm. His family would want the body returned, probably. I mean, yeah, they probably would. I am very curious, but no, I should return the body. I would like to study it. I'd like to study it and return the body, but I guess they probably wouldn't like it if the body was returned all cut up and <laughs> tested on. Return his remains to Port Prosper. Settlers deposited in his cabin under careful quarantine. Soap and warm water is applied liberally to the floors. Oh yeah, uh, the repentant devil is restless. Titania always called them. Does the repentant devil have business here, then? If it's calling them? There's so many bees. At least this time I didn't get attacked on the way in. Let's get a port report. That's not where you get a port report. Is that landing? Yeah. Alright, let's turn in the seeds. Not going to be a huge profit. Bought them for 40, sell them for 80. But still not bad. I'm up to 2200. Maybe I should buy a new ship. That should do it, the florid landscapist declares. She stores the sacks carefully away from any source of water, for the floor of the reach is dangerously ebullient when nourished. Impeccable service. Please accept this additional compensation. Another bargain. I already have a lot of munitions, though. But then again, if I've got nothing else stored in my hold, if I've got room for it, I might as well take it. It is a good deal. The Sapphired Souk. It's an interesting name. I like it. Just attended the art exhibition. We've already read this, but it reduced our terror. Alright, what the heck. Yeah, I'm going to get this bargain. I want to get any bargain I can if I have the room for it. That's all we can do here, which is a bit surprising, because remember, one of the research tasks at the Nature Reserve is to get a clipping of the giant petal here. 
I thought I would do that here as like a story thing, but if it's not, then where do I do it? Do I need to actually, oh, oh, I go to the front. Remember the front? There's like a glowing bit on the very front of the flower. I probably have to go there and then inspect it or something. Okay. Mind the bees. Uh. Hmm. I think it's the case that I probably can't get the clipping unless Titania is, like, repaired. Because it's in chaos right now. Yeah, that's probably it. So it probably is a story event that I just can't do right now. So I'm heading to the circus because I did all the flyer stuff so I can go talk to the headstrong strong woman. However, I've just encountered something very, very weird. Something to crave. But look at this. What is that? That does not look good. I guess I'll just go into it. Scoop. Requires butchery. Fascinating. How am I going to butcher these weird wispy tendrils of smoke, though? Are we going to eat that somehow? It's the first time I've ever seen that. Ooh, is that a marauder? Hello. Getting back up? Oh, no. Nope. Captain's cabin or raid the safe. Captain's cabin. Success. Salon stewed gossip. I'm finding the combat in this game really fun. Captain's cabin. Two salon suit gossip. Ooh. At the circus now. Uh, it looks like I can try to recruit crew from the circus. You'll need to be persuasive. The circus has some kind of hold on people. Unfortunately, it uses hearts, so I've only got a 16% chance of success. Failure. The prospective crew member looks tempted, but their eyes keep dragging back to the big top. I have to be here. They apologize. I I think this is where I'm supposed to be. That's fair. I respect that. Let's go behind the tents and tell the headstrong strong woman the flyers are posted. You deliver the news while she's in the middle of her training. She puts the dumbbell down with exquisite form and fetches you a reward from her tent. Here, she says, wiping sweat from her brow with her forearm. I hope they'll bring something interesting. I've really missed being surprised. She smiles wistfully and returns to lifting her weights, keeping up a running commentary on the things she saw last time her act was popular. We have so much salon stewed gossip. 500 experience and 100 sovereigns. Okay, let's get another quest. Ringmaster's Caravan. So, two left. Get the Acrobat's Twin back, or... Purchase costumes for the Clown. Two of Cats. The... Oh, I just realized that's these all start off with something like that. Four of Hats, two of Cats. The costumes are not for the Clown, but for his pet geese, Cuddles and Ruffles. He's not funny without them, confides the Ringmaster. Cuddles and ruffles. Let's get some costumes for the clown. His best acts require them, the ringmaster says, but they won't perform unless they're in costume. And unfortunately, the geese have a habit of destroying them after a few shows. <laughs> we have a friend in Port Avon who will be happy to supply us with costumes. We have the money, but not the transport. He hands you a small purse. 
They seem to get a lot of their help from Port Avon. Fix the magician's tools there by a carpenter. On the way to Port Avon, just stop to add Cuddle's Comb to read the captain's log. Captain Janth. The captain describes the dapple of distant starlight falling over their engine, the long hours spent in the watchful dark, suddenly shattered by a dazzle of cold radiance. When will they know such splendor again? A vision of the heavens. Merrill of Unseasoned Hours. Let's get a port report from Port Avon. And purchase a costume for the geese. The Oracle is a keen supporter of the local tailor. So is the clown, it turns out. She is a tidy, mousy woman with a fiercely strong handshake. So you're collecting the outfits for the geese. I have the costumes here. A nice little three-piece suit for the gentleman and a ballroom gown for the lady. They'll be the most precious couple anyone ever saw. Aww. I want to see them. I want to see a drawing of the geese wearing the costumes. Could also reduce our terror here. Oh, and we have so much salon, salon stewed gossip. Let's share it a bit. I'm not going to use all of it. My welcome is now four. Now six, so it gives me two each time. I'll get it up to like eight. Ah, oh, right. Cheap fuel. Cheap repairs. I do need repairs, actually. The engineer here has little to do. She could use the distraction. Healed up to full with just 25 sovereigns. Not that repairs for the whole are extremely expensive, but it definitely would have been at least twice that. The engineer works swiftly, hammering the battered hull into shape. Good as new, she announces, squinting sadly at your engine. Near as, anyway. Let's go to the village green. Take a relaxing stroll around the village. From 28 to 27. It only went down by 1%. Maybe... Before, when I was trying to kind of just grind at Port Avon to get my terror way, way, way down, I thought maybe it was preventing me from getting my terror down very much by making sure that if you do it more than once in one visit, that it doesn't give you as much terror reduction, but it's been a while, and it only gave me 1%, so maybe it just sometimes sucks. Well, in that case, I think the inn gave me the best when I read the work of speculative fiction. I think they gave me about 4%. I've done almost all of these. I haven't done the vacant throne, though. So, from 23... Did that do nothing? Oh, wait, no, I think it reduces my terror when I first click on the uh, read a work of speculative fiction, not after I click on which specific one to read, so it already reduced it. Another silent century passed. Upon the throne, the king's corpse withered and sagged, mouth devouring the incarnadine robes. Then a sound. The doors opened. A woman entered, young, scarred, a sword in her hand. Behind her were more men more swords. About time, thought the throne. So incarnadine is another word that I wasn't familiar with. It means a bright crimson or pinkish red color. I think that's about it for what I want to do at Port Avon. They do have a bargain for sacks of verdant seeds, but I only have one spot in my hold. I've got a lot of things here that I just want to store in my bank. I don't have any specific use for them right now. So I'm just going to buy this. Just buy this one, fill up all the way. Wait, what? Why did it just let me... How could my hold be 13 out of 12? Oh, it wants me to jettison. I thought it prevented me from buying stuff if I already had a, a full hold. Okay. Uh, right. Whoops. Anyway. <laughs> I want to go back to the circus to turn in the quest now that I've got the costumes for the geese, but... Since I'm totally full of stuff, I want to go back to New Winchester, turn in my port reports, and dump off all my stuff in my bank. Just turned in four port reports, 400 sovereigns. Let's trade favor to affect the balance of power in the reach again. If 
gained five fortunes. New total, 61. Prosperous. You don't have 90. Reputation, esteemed. And I'm loathed by the Windward Company. Also, there's news up here, but didn't we just do news for stuff happening at Port Avon? Right? Remember when the Tacades were storing munitions at the ruins? This is different. Skullduggery, Port Avon. The Port Avon Parish Council complains of noises from the local ruins at night. I... Yeah, what? I, didn't I do this? I definitely did this. 100% sure I did this. I will investigate again. Ooh, something's going on at New Winchester. I just docked and then I see this. The company's retreat. 